What the? You're, you're awake? Uh, huh? Wow. Um, um, we, we, we didn't expect you to be awake so soon. <sighs> okay, but where am I? You're in my home. Oh. Okay, that's good. But wait, where am I exactly? Well, I... Well, since you passed out, I took you to our village. Vill village? This is a guru upon getting out of bed. He pretty much realizes, yeah, he's not on Earth anymore. He's in the Minecraft world. At least the universe, so to speak. He sees that everything is block shaped. Even to a more grander extent, the very animals. The only ones that seem to not be cubicle are the people. And though, yes, he does see this as odd, he tries his best not to make a big deal out of it. So, what happened? I don't know, you just came out of nowhere and, well, you punched a creeper. What's a creeper? Wait, you don't know what a creeper is? These animalistic type of self-detonating beasts? Uh, no, I, I'm sorry, I don't. Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, here, her handing him his backpack as well as some black powder. What's this? Uh, Gunpowder? What the? Why would you give me this? Well, to the vendor go the spoils. Uh, huh? You killed the, you know, the creeper I was hunting, so. Wait, you. You came after it on. You decided to fight. Something you call a creeper by yourself. So that wasn't you screaming. Wait. As yes, this is where he's a good remembers how he got into this position. In which he did end up going through a poor old door, so to speak. The only reason why he did is because, as you would have heard at the beginning of the video, yeah, a scream. He said because the era instincts kicked in, and now here we are. Huh. <sighs> okay, so that explains that. But that doesn't explain why I passed out. Hmm. Despite you being able to defeat the creeper, which in and of a in of itself is a great task. You didn't seem that strong. You were actually quite weak. Uh, really? Uh, well, yes. I mean, your arms and legs, your complete body doesn't seem that atoned to a Life here, how were you able to survive until now? Oh. So. That's what happened. Huh. <sighs>
Yeah, that would... Wait. Now that you mention it, it's, I do feel heavier than what I would be back on... back in Japan. J uh, was Japan? Uh... You're just remembering, oh yeah, I must not be on Earth entirely, so, like, Earth, like, where Steve is from, and Jenny, and all the others, what, oh yes, me and the other villagers are actually descendants of those heroes, in fact, Beforehand, we could only really build things that, uh, as well as <sighs> we used to not really be able to use our hands like we do now. Oh, wait! As far as creeper, can I see it? Well. Yes, but are you sure you want to see a creeper's corpse? Ah, uh, might, might as well. Okay. As Izuku actually throws up upon seeing a dismembered creeper, pretty much being ripped and torn open. Why are you doing this? Well, mainly for fertilizer and possibly explosives. I mean, I gave you your share of the whole, you know, gunpowder, but... Uh, oh. So, I'm not the one that really finished it. Oh, no, you finished it off, but we had to... At least... I had to wound it. Why'd you say like that? I was a part of a hunting party gathering materials when a creeper or two snuck up on us, blew up. Wait, so they. Yeah, they explode. Uh, I and so you're saying everyone else is, is dead. He's now you see why I was particularly adamant of taking on that creeper, hunting it down. He thought I was dead because of the corpses uh, oh but it's fine uh, it, at least it, it wasn't a zombie or you know, it was a skeletons or a, hold it hold it hold it what zombies skeletons oh yes yeah, skeletons are quite Formidable archers. What? And zombies are relentless, even when they are being burned alive. Well, per, at least burned to death, death. Oh. And there's the spiders, the bats, silverfish. This road are going on and on and on about some of the dangers that pose in the Minecraft world. Well, Izuku is pretty much like, oh, goody. So, <clears throat> if you don't mind me asking, how long was I out? Oh, um, I say about mm, four days. What? Is uh, wait? Uh, do do you know how I got here? 
Well, there is a portal door, but... Uh... Are you sure? Uh... uh yeah, I should really get home. My mom must be worried sick about me. Oh. Uh, okay, uh, I'll take you to the portal. Thank you. As soon as Izuku gets there, he realizes, like, oh, and I don't need this gunpowder. You can have it. You sure? Of course. But I, I feel like I should repay you some way, somehow. Like, like what? As then she starts to um button her, her vest and Izuku being the way he is is freaking out hers like, here. Huh? Her flashing emeralds at Izuku. What do you feel like there's not enough? I mean, I have more. You're like, no, 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 no. It's just, this might be too much. In which, yeah, she get, she's willingly giving him five emeralds. In which, those of you who don't know how big one of those motherfuckers are, five of them? That's a pretty penny. So, yes, Izuku is nobly like, are you serious about giving me this much just for some gunpowder? Well, if anything, I like collecting them every now and again. I mean, my parents think of it as pretty much a waste of time, considering uh, we can't really do much else really with them. <sighs> right. Oh, okay. Huh. So, are you honestly okay with just, of course, of course, I have no problem with that whatsoever, you can have them, I don't need them. <sighs> Thank you, but wait, where, where were you hiding these, these things are massive. Izu grabs onto them, and he instantly drops to the ground. Again, these things are heavy. Because these things are fucking massive. They are solids. So, obviously, Izuku, not being uh, the strongest. Wow, you really are huh, quite weak, huh? I, uh, maybe a little. Well, if anything, if you want to come back and possibly train, you can. I, I guess I don't really have a problem with it. Really? Yeah, I mean, why not? I, I mean, I would like to see you again. Uh, I, uh, 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 I, uh, is there something wrong? I, I don't know. I, this has never happened before. Uh, what? D -d don't worry about it. It's just uh, I don't talk to many uh, females. Oh, well, you're quite brave. I'm actually surprised. Uh, right. Uh, so 
If you don't mind, uh, could you give me a hand here? Hmm. Yeah, it would pose, uh, difficult to, you know. Yeah. As this is pretty much Izuku being, at the very least, very blushy. At the very most, all around embarrassed red tomato face. Is it okay? So, how am I supposed to. Here! Uh, what is this? A purse? No, it's a satchel. There's. What's a purse? Oh, uh, never mind. But how are these gonna. Her just pretty much placing them like one, two, three, four, five. How do you do that? And I don't even feel how heavy they are. Well, this is one of our creations. What? Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, so, what? It's like a... Kind of like a pocket mansion. What? Yeah. Yeah. It... Oh. Wait, wait, what? How is that possible? If anything, it is possible to create, though it may be a little difficult when it comes to gathering all the materials to really craft them. I mean, the workbench can be uh, unforgiving if you're not used to building things. Oh, um, okay, uh, great. Uh, uh, and, uh, yeah, and I'll, uh, I'll definitely come back if I can find the portal. Oh, great. He's a goo and goes home. Inko, though she's worried, she's not nearly as worried as Zuku would believe. Considering, yeah, he was told he was asleep for four days. But on Earth, he was technically asleep for, let's say, an hour and 20 minutes. Though, yes, he's still late getting home. He's still, wow, this is, hmm. This is interesting. So, so, I did end up going to a different world, which is time moves by faster. That's crazy. Hmm. Maybe this could be good for me? As Inko does, like, wait, where, why are you wearing, why, where did you get a, a purse from? What? Oh, wait, no, 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 this is, it's not a purse, it's a satchel. Oh, well, where'd you get one? Did you go shopping or something for... A satchel for some reason? I mean, you have a backpack. I don't get why you would. Well, this satchel is actually kind of special. Really? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, but I. I don't understand how. 
how could it be? So, Izuku taking out one of these intervals, him struggling to hold it, but planting it on the table. Inko looking in utter shock. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I, did you, where did you, uh, uh, I, I can explain, as yes, Izuku, he does tell Ingo, like, so, you found a portal to another world, in which you fought, a monster that explodes when you get too close to it. Yeah. And you were unconscious for what is the equivalent of at least an hour and 20 minutes here, but four days on the other. Yeah. Izuku, I, I know, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's like, but, uh, she gave me gunpowder, I didn't want it, so I gave it to her, but then she gave me these emeralds, these, <clears throat> I'm sorry, but, this is a big emerald, I mean, yes, it obviously has uh, quite a few purities, but this is a very large gemstone. I know. Do you even have any idea what this could be worth? No. I assume that's a lot. <sighs> okay, okay. Well, uh, we'll get exchange for cash, I guess, but still, I, hmm, I'm really worried about this. What do you mean? Well, this is a lot of money, potentially. Really? Yeah. Oh. So what you're saying is, hmm, how much could it be worth? <laughs> uh, I could say this one emerald might be worth millions of U.S. dollars. What? Yeah. Mom? Please, tell me you're joking. I'm not. If I can see, this thing is raw. It's uncut, which if it was cut and not as cloudy as what I can see, it would be worth more. Considerably, but mm, we're gonna have to really get it appraised. And with it being so heavy, this is heavier than me and you combined. I know. So, you might need to put it back in your purse, a satchel, a, right? Satchel, whatever. And we'll get a praise tomorrow, but first, let's, let's get some sleep, because right now, uh, I'm a little worried. I I'd rather you not be, considering I'm going back. What? Why? What reason would you possibly have to go back? Training. What? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, training. 
Izuku, why would you possibly... <sighs> Never mind. You're probably just gonna do whatever you want anyway. At the very least, I can be happy you told me instead of trying to sneak out and do dangerous things with a, my knowledge and end up getting hurt. So you're not mad? Oh no, I am livid. But at the very least, I know the danger. Izuku was like, yeah, I ain't telling you everything. I just told you something. Uh, I just gave you a piece of the information pie. Him thanking his lucky stars, he didn't just blur out every single danger. As then go, Izuku, next day, upon getting you appraised, yeah, turns out this. One emerald out of five is worth <coughs> when it comes to American currency, I mean American four hundred and sixty three million five hundred thousand. U.S. dollars and converting that into <laughs> yen that is, a, that is a real fortune right there so as you can imagine Inko faints Izuku tries to resuscitate his mom while pretty much the appraiser is like you <laughs> Any idea how rare this is to find something this big, heavy. Do you know how many, how many accessories can be crafted from this? Are you willing to buy it? Yes! Yes, please! Oh, this is my lucky day. Thank you. But, hmm, I may have to get in contact with someone to not only help me cut it, but also to pay you for this emerald. But don't worry. Okay, so what should I do with the others? Others. Is it good taking out four more? The exact same type of cut, the exact same size and weight. Young man, where did you get these? Did you stole across a mine somewhere? Someone gave them to me. Who would give you? Gems of such quality. It, it would be ludicrous for someone to just give these to you. The amount you can buy with what you can get from these. <sighs> huh? Oh. Oh. He's like a. Yeah. I had this craziest dream. Oh, really, Mom? Please do tell that you acquired millions of dollars worth of gem stones. Seeing that the gems are still there and that they, they are indeed real, it go passes out again. Okay, I'm going to go home, and we'll work out my payment later? Yes. Yes, please. Please, just leave. Because, is this all you have? Please tell me this is all you have. 
it is. For now. You expect to get more? Yes, possibly. Young man, I'm going to tell you this. I'm, and please, just hear me clearly. Be mindful of who you allow to know of your new source of revenue. Because right now, you will never have to work a day in your life. You can live comfortably right now with as much as you have just made by selling these. This is... <sighs> Listen. <clears throat> U.S. currency is higher than ours here in uh, Japan. You realize that? Yeah. So, when I gave you that number in the millions of American dollars, Yeah. Do you realize how much? No. Okay. Would Would you like to know? Uh, I, I kind of do, but I'm also scared. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, now you're scared. Oh, believe me, boy, you should be. Really? Yes. You see, the amount of cash that you've accumulated, it is, at the very least, I mean it, at the very least, I'm a little scared to say this. What? S scared to say what? It is around... Whew. 53... Billion... 383... Million... 625,000... Japanese... Yen. What? Yes, my boy. That, that is what you have with you now. For one of these things. Do you realize? Just, do you fathom the pure absurdity of the fortune you've accumulated in such a short amount of time. So, tell me, how, how much do, do I have? Counting all of them? Do you really want to know? Do you really? Okay, okay. I guess there's no harm in it. <coughs> in total, and that's if we're able to sell them at the at least sold to you at the price I've told you. That is easily three hundred and sixteen billion nine hundred and 18 million 125,000 yen. You, my boy, are set for life. And so are your descendants. And that's if you, you know, does 
also matter if you uh, happen to be smart with your money and don't waste it all and you know yada 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 much money good because this my money and this was just out of five of the gems that you have given me do you realize no oh that's right you are new to this but yes the money shall be transferred at a later date do you have a bank account? Uh, no, you should get one. Because I cannot, in good conscience, let you just have all of this in cash. Uh, I, 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 I know you're speechless, but... Let's just say, how the hell did you acquire this? I, uh, uh, mm. yeah, just go, go home with, with your mother. <sighs> Things are about to get interesting, all things considered. As yes, he's gonna go home with Inko, and upon Inko being told the amount, at least in yen, that they will receive, she almost passes out again. But Izuku just says, "Please stop. You're this is not good for my heart." Inko, she's scared right now because. This is a lot of money for them to just come by. They are loaded. That is a lot of cash for Izuku to have in the bank account. Hell, Ego never would have imagined such success. This just for five gemstones. Her looking at him was like, are you sure you want to go back? Do you really have a reason to want to go back? Him looking at his feet is pretty much like, don't tell me. You want to be a hero, don't you? You still want to be a hero. Yes. <sighs> of course you do. Of course. You know what? I support you 100%. But you have to promise me something. What? You have to come back home. What? You will have to return home to me. Safe and sound. That is our deal. Ma, promise me. Yes, ma'am. So, how long are you going to be gone? I, I have to know, just for the sake of my sanity. Well, like I said, a, a day there is 20 minutes here, so I, I, I'm not really sure. On, okay. So, at the very least, hmm, three days there will equal what? An hour? Y yeah, I guess. Whew. Okay. So, three days. Oh my gosh, this is, this is very, 
Very terrifying for me. So can, do you not realize? I'm sorry, Mom. I know. But honestly, it's it's just <sighs> let me let me do some quick math. I. <gasps> what? I may be wrong and I really hope I am, but that would be 1,040 minutes. What? Nothing. Oh my god, that's, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. One day is equal to <clears throat> Are you sure you want to be a hero? Yes, Mom. Is there no way I can convince you otherwise? Uh, d don't worry about it, Mom. I'll be safe. Are you sure? Yes. <sighs> well, I, I guess I have no choice but to trust your judgment. Thanks, Mom. T please, just come back home safe. That's, that's all I ask. Yes, ma'am. I promise. Good. Good. Oh, well, seriously. That's going to be... Are you really going to be okay with spending days there? Yes, Mom. <sighs> okay. Okay, good. Okay. I trust you. I... I trust you. <sighs> it's... Uh, you'll be gone for potentially over a month. In, in their time, but it'll just be a day here. It'll be fine. Mom, calm down, please. Of course I'm calm. Why would I be calm? You see how calm I am? You can hear from my voice. I'm very, very, very calm. <laughs> I just really don't want you to end up getting hurt. Are you sure this is safe? Yes. <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay, okay. At the very least, let us. Let me uh, prepare you some food, so I know that you won't go hungry while you're there. And I wish you luck. As yeah, you think for thanks to being from my hero universe instead of the Minecraft, when he does end up going back, the thing is he ages. Like he would on regular Earth. While everyone else seems to be slightly aging slower due to being descendants of Steve and all the rest of the others, you know, player characters, they do notice wow, you are. 
Very young. Really? You think so? It, yeah, I mean, at the very least, you don't age like us. So. Huh, I believe I heard that the original builders, or Steve and the others, were immortal. Are you? Like, no, it's just, where I'm from, time works differently. Really? Yeah, for us, three days, these three of your days, is more like an hour here, or at least there. Wow. You must get a lot done. It, it helps. Uh, I've never seen a real life torch before. What? Y you haven't seen a torch before, but then how do you, uh, you know, keep the mobs away? What? Huh. Yeah, there's a lot you need to learn about us. For one, when it gets dark out, the light help keep up uh, all the monsters from spawning. Wait, so you're saying they just poof into existence in the dark? Oh yeah, so we have to keep our residences well lit. Especially when it comes to the village, we have to make sure that there are no truly dark corners around. Otherwise, poof, you could end up with a uh, or the zombies, or a creeper, or even spider skeletons just in the middle of the village. <laughs> very dangerous. Uh, at the very least, I really do wish it, we were like some of the others. What do you mean? Well, they have one of the greatest security systems ever devised. Really? What do you mean? Golems? What? Yeah, you see, after a village, at least from what I heard, reaches a certain population, a golem, or an iron golem, I believe, is summoned to protect us. Really? Yeah, like, say, we had a golem here and someone attacked us. The golems are very resilient as well as very powerful. To a point where defeating one would take a lot of strength. Even as we are now, we probably lose a fair amount of us trying to take one on. Wow. That's... Crazy. Yeah. So, are you ready for your upgrade? Huh? What do you mean? Uh, well, your backpack. Huh. Uh, sure, but what else could I? Well, you know how. You first started with a satchel, but then you uh, traded in and got a backpack, and after uh, what seemed to be child's play levels of uh, labor for you, you got a backpack with the whole interface that allows you to craft things in your inventory. Yeah. Well. This way, it's like having a full-on crafting table. Only this one also has a furnace function. What? Oh yeah, it's very uh, helpful, especially when crafting ingots on the go. <sighs> wow, I I did not know that whatsoever. Yeah, I noticed.
But at the very least, you're not a weakling anymore after fighting those monsters. Yeah. It's weird. But every time I beat one, I felt stronger. Yeah, wait, wait, you, you never noticed? What do you mean? Uh, <laughs> what? Oh my god, you really didn't notice. Notice what? Have you ever seen some green lights after killing a monster? And, you know... Oh, but I'm mainly... You, you, only focus on killing them and bringing their course, course back. I never really took the time to. Wow, you really don't know. For some reason in this world, we get stronger after each kill. Only thing is, when it comes to you, it seems like there's more. Mm, I want to say evidence of growth? Huh. Now that you mention it, I do feel like I've gotten a bit taller. Let alone stronger. I mean, heck, I'm able to punch trees down, for one. But yeah. If anything, through ancient text, we've decided to call it XP. Or, I think uh, our ancestors would call it experience points. So you do know about it. Uh, no, it's just, that's something similar that we have on, on my world. The only thing is, I thought that was just supposed to be a video game. Wait... I have done some reading saying that Steve and the others one day left a while back? Yes. Huh. How long ago was that? Uh, that was millennia ago. At least for us it was. Izuku thinking like, huh. Because Steve, Jenny, and all the rest actually created video games based off of this world? At least experience points and whatnot? Weird. Because the whole thing with experience points, gathering things from monsters, it's kind of like an RPG. Hmm. I might have to look into that some more. As Zugu, he does think about the. Oh, yeah, I always wondered. What's with the Endermen? What? You know, those tall mobs that just take a block and leave. Oh, um. We don't really talk about them much. Heck, as long as they leave us alone and we leave them alone, we have no real quarrel with them. Why? I was always curious about their capabilities. Well, why? I mean, they just teleport in and out. Don't you think that would be a useful ability if we could learn that? What? Izuku, you are crazy. There's no way we could learn something so complex. Not unless we had... Hmm. What? Uh, oh, uh, uh, nothing. Come on, tell me. Well, there's this 
place in which there's this special kind of fruit that does emanate the same energy that Endermen do. Really? Yeah. But it's dangerous to go there, and it could be very problematic. I mean, you need an Ender Portal for one. What's that? Eh, it's, it's how you get there. And you can't just go through the portal. You just so having to pass through every so often. So, uh, so is it possible? Mm. It is possible. Yes, but the collective materials is very dangerous and I do not risk your safety to just... How do I do it? What? Please tell me how do I acquire an ender portal? Oh, please don't make me tell you. Why not? How would you get hurt? I mean, you've seen what happens when someone accidentally stares at an enderman for too long. You'll be surrounded by them, possibly. Uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I see your point. So what you're saying is I'm just not strong enough. Yes, that's it. That's exactly what I'm saying. So what if I got stronger? What? You heard me. What if I was strong enough to take on an Enderman without any repercussions besides a little bit of scrapes and bruises? You can't be serious. As a heart attack. And besides, I, to be completely honest, I have a large number of gemstones that I've collected. <sighs> I still don't understand why you just don't turn them into armor or weapons. I mean, the emeralds, of course, they're practically just used as luxury items, but not have any real practical use. But still, mm. <laughs> you know what? It's getting late, so I'm just gonna head out off to bed. I mean. Sure. And uh, he's he's a good. Remember, don't try to. I know, I know. Don't try to build an end portal until I'm ready. I promise. Good. As he's a good, he can't sleep because right now he's just wondering. Uh, so the special fruit may hold a secret to the Enderman's teleportation. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I kind of really want to... Hmm. Uh, but I made a promise. I can't really do anything until... Hmm. I can wait. Yeah, yeah, I can wait. Just gotta be patient. Gotta get stronger. And then, hopefully I find a way to just poof here and poof home whenever I want. <laughs>